Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I went to my first reptile convention ever, which was a super interesting experience in itself. I also went to a pumpkin patch with my boyfriend and it was just a super jam-packed day. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, I tend to only want to rescue reptiles and amphibians now. I do have a few fish here and there in my pond, but reptile conventions really aren't my kind of tea. I would rather give a, an animal that needs a really good home and have them come into my life that way instead of spending $1,200 on a ball python. <laughs> While I think morphs are super cool, genetics are super cool, breeding is okay, um, it's just not my cup of tea and everyone's welcome to drink their own cup of tea, it's just not mine. But what I did leave with today was a bunch of isopods and by a bunch I mean I got one culture of isopods and I got one culture of springtails. Um, I've been looking for these types of isopods for forever. For, you guys might know them as a dairy cow. I'll insert a video of them here. But they basically look like they have a cow print on them. Now, I just took care of my Amazon milk frog enclosure and I thought how funny would it be to put dairy cow isopods in my Amazon milk frog enclosure. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I haven't seen any springtails really like seed in the, this enclosure, so I'm going to look around when I'm adding the dairy cow isopods in, but I'm really excited and let's go seed them into their new home in their new space. I'm also going to show you some footage that I took at the reptile convention today, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll put it in after this clip. I'm sorry that today's video is so short, but just wanted to keep you posted with my upcoming rescue and my first reptile convention, so I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. 